was supposed to meet your mother for drinks last night, but she never showed up at the restaurant? It's not like my mom to be a no-show. I know. Uh, it's not like her to leave unanswered messages either, so I just wondered if you knew where she was or if you've heard from her. I was with her yesterday when she got her first lead, the first solid one anyway, and I asked her if she would be safe, and she said she would be. But now you're concerned. Well, so am I, I have to say. Anna, do you think my mom's in trouble? Oh, there you are. We were getting worried. Mom. Hey, are you okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm fine. You're wearing the same clothes as, as last night. Where have you been this whole time? How can I fly to Paris if we don't know what's happening with Curtis? Honey, you're going. Your father and I, we both want you to go. Even if it's with Spencer? Is he my first choice for a travel companion? No. You know he's not. But Spencer makes you happy. I can see that. And if you ever have children, you'll realize that all you really want for them is just to be happy. Is that Spencer? Yeah, I'm gonna call him later. No, 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 I think you should take it. We need all the support we can get today, right? I didn't mean for anyone to worry, but as you can see, I'm fine. Fine. Okay. I have to check on Uncle Curtis, so. Tell him I'm thinking about him. I will. And stay safe, please. That's the plan. It's nice to see you, TJ. You want to tell me what happened when you followed that lead? Well, I never got that far. Somebody stopped me. One minute I'm outside on my way to a ranger meeting. The next I'm in a room on the wrong side of a two-way mirror, across from these strangers staring at me. Your FBI? Why all the subterfuge then? If you're investigating the shooting of Curtis Ashford, we're on the same side. What did they want, your cooperation? Nope. They wanted me to back off. But I felt something. And I got a sneaking suspicion you felt it too. Something that can never, ever be. We can't risk you compromising the investigation. Listen to me. My ex-husband, and one of the best men you'll ever meet, almost died and is literally fighting to get back on his feet. I can help you find who's responsible if you're not too proud or territorial to let me. I couldn't see who was on the other side of that door, but whoever it was put the fear of God into those agents. What were you thinking at this point? Truthfully, I was wondering just how far they were willing to go to keep me quiet. Whoever the agents spoke to must have been calling the shots. What makes you say that? Because as soon as that door was closed again, everything changed. Thank you, Ms. Asford. We're done here. I can go. We apologize for the inconvenience. There's a car waiting right outside for you. And that was it? I was walked to a town car and advised to stick to my desk at City Hall. Which, of course, you won't. After that, not a chance. You are actually going to need backup. Anna, there's no telling where this will lead. That's precisely my point. You have to admit, you're gonna need a second pair of eyes. Well, if you're offering up yours, I'd be a fool to say no. It doesn't necessarily mean the spinal cord damage was repaired. I'm ready to find out. How about that? I felt that. What? Yes. Yes? Oh my god. I'm not imagining Doc. I felt something. <laughs> Babe. <laughs> this is great news. It's no guarantee you'll walk again, but no, 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 but it's, it's a start. On the next General Hospital. Wouldn't it be better for her to go to Paris without him? Something's got you on it. I know what you're doing, and it's not gonna work. If it's too much, just tell me. I'll back off. You gotta know that she's planning something. I wouldn't underestimate what Laura's willing to do for her family. How on earth could you know that?